Mid-season additions don't always work out in sports. However, Pavel Senkovic is not your typical acquisition. The two-time Olympian from Belarus joined the Florida State swimming and diving team in January, and the Seminoles haven't looked back. I just sent a message for head coach Neil Harper, and uh, after three or four months, when I did like paperwork, uh, I was here. The world is a small place, you know, and so obviously swimmers that we have had before, uh, that sort of Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian connection, uh, where, you know, someone says, hey, you know, this swimmer's interested in coming to the States, would you be interested in him? And you don't really turn your nose up at a two-time Olympian that's got really, you know, a great ped pedigree. Despite the pedigree, the coaches could not be sure how Senkovic would perform. Those questions were quickly erased at the ACC Championships, where he broke two school records, won three events, and was voted the meet's top performer. He thinks on that higher level, having gone to Olympics when he was young and then again when he was 22. So uh, he comes in with that experience and confidence. And then, you know, if our team really, you know, our women's and men's teams really uh, uh, accepted him with open arms and know that, you know, if we, if we make him welcome, if we train with him, if we perform well, push him in training, it'll allow him to really do well at the ACC meet. The meet was also Senkovic's first experience at a big university meet with hundreds of fans and teammates screaming and cheering. Yeah, I had a lot of fun because I don't have this uh, big team like we have here and uh, it was my first big meet in Yards Pool yeah, and first big university meets. It was really cool because I get not bad results I think and uh, I'll try to do, to do better. Senkovic enters the NCAA championships seated no worse than 10th in his three events and could become the first swimmer since 1999 to earn a top eight finish in multiple events for the Seminoles. And since he has represented his country twice already at the Olympics, the big stage of the NCAA meet is not expected to face him. Yeah, of course, it's really helps me because Olympic Games is a big deal. And uh, after a meet like that, it's, it's really easier to, to, like, to, to race in other meets. If he does succeed, I think it's safe to say this midseason pickup worked out just fine. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.